<clears throat> oh. Welcome to Peisty High Head, though. What I have here is an original pair of white label, this is for my sonic protection, white label high hats, okay, 15 inch hats. At one point I've seen, I and many of us giant bead lunatics have seen 14 inch original white and black label hats too, okay, and it's mentioned in a later ad I think, but anyway, so the bottom spec. By the way, I think when Nick Mason is playing all his giant beats at the Pompeii thing, um, I'm fairly certain those hi-hats are Formula 602. And I can't remember if they look sound edge or not. The top symbol certainly does. But here we go. How does this sound? give you some so what I'm gonna do real fast is I am going to put I'm gonna take check this out here's the 15 inch original this is in great shape man very 505 looking in a weird do you see that you see how there's these standard giant beat fine lathing but then there's almost a, like a ghost. Do you see that kind of? Hang on. I can't bring it too much closer because I can't focus it. But there's a 505 even spacing thing sort of happening there. Hmm. Nice. Get, I'm telling you, you want a great pair of hats? The 505 15 inch medium. In fact, in 505 Ferg, the, to me, the mediums, 14 inch pair, 15 inch pair. I've never had a 13. I should probably try those. So what I'm going to do, so here's my top, okay? Let's just for fun put my top. So right now, there is a black label, 2000. You know, I do believe that this is from the first series. Anyway, there is a way to tell. The labels are slightly different on the hi-hats anyway, as they went into the late aughts, into the tens. What am I going to do? This is the bottom. So I'm putting a 15 inch reissue giant beat top on the bottom. I'll get weights on these shortly. I'm sorry I didn't do it first. I know in this day and age of weights, just be patient for now. That's what's great about the rewind button. Okay, I mean it. Not to me to be patronizing. It's just, I, I guess I should have done it, but whatever. Okay. So, vintage top on top, modern giant beat top on bottom. Hang on a second. Okay, I'm gonna tell you something. Right now, you've just witnessed, in reality, me discovering that my 15 inch reissue giant beat top paired with one of my 15 inch reissue tops on the bottom sounds exactly like a great pair of original giant beats. So real fast, with the help of the rewind button, let's put on the original bottom, which looks so 505 and cool. Here, you can see the ghost. Look at that, the ghost giant beat. Nine o'clock position. God, it's just so funny. how That ink came off so easily. Anyway, so now I'm putting, I'm getting this one off, the one I put on there. And I'm putting this original. Here's the, written, the original white label bottom paired with its original top. Now let's compare real fast. Now you'll find these sound a little boxier. I'm opening a little wider. Hang on. hardware store regular old school freaking like vintage looking wing screw but what you do is you use if you're lucky to have one of these cnc 
drum keys that gets the wing nuts. I can just torque it like, like that. And here we go. There's just a slightly more trashy sound to me. So there's a lot of permutations we can do. Let's real fast then, in real time. It's a reality, whoops, show. So, all right, all right, getting that out of the way. And now we're gonna put on what I've been using as a bottom. As a bottom is, oh, don't fall, is this 1976, 2002 sound edge bottom that I've been advising Peisty to maybe even just pair up a giant big top with the 2002 sound edge bottom so they don't have to go through the trouble. Okay, here we go. So the original giant beat top, white label, with my 1976 um, 2002 sound edge. do well hang on I, at some point i do have to do a quick comparison with the if that goes with the top but hang on i'm still doing this myself oh frick it. i'll do it real fast so hi everybody how are you the led zeppelin tribute gig by the band cashmere that i'm sitting in on god love frank he's a good man uh okay so real fast th this is the way i normally do it okay in the videos i've had the, the in the videos I've had, like the last 20 videos I've had, this is the hi-hat setup I've had. This is the hi-hat <laughs> setup I have, have had. So, putting on my original, no, no. Reissue top, giant B top. It says top on it. It's not the bottom, it's the top. I've been pairing over these hi-hats. So go over the last, I don't know, what was it, a minute, minute and a half ago? Maybe I could edit some kind of video together, I don't know. Uh, I need my tie, my screw honor. Remember, Bill Rotella has these babies. He's got a great website, B I L L R O T E L L A. He sells books and stuff he's written, but these are C and C, no relation to Cardwell and uh, Carrington drum keys. They're marvelous. You know who else made a good one? Is Sandy, Sarah Willoughby, Sandy Willoughby, Cheryl. Okay, so here we go. No, wait, I went like this two minutes ago. Oh, I gotta do it like the all the symbol videos do the same thing now, like Zildjian. Ouch! Damn it! All right, uh, they they're like. Trying to remember the permute permutations permutation combination. So now I'm gonna get off the sound edge bottom and put on the what was I gonna do? That's the sound I was gonna put that. I did that already. Oh no, I didn't do that right. Wait, where's the, um, so the original, I, I hope I have this right. No, I did this already, because then they sounded like the perfect white label 15 inch. When I had the original white label on the bottom and my reissue on the top. But what was I gonna do? It was important, shite. I can't remember. Um, I find myself thinking about other stuff when I'm down here. Let's see here. I was going to put, ah, I know what I was gonna do. Wait, real fast. I'm going to put, the original bottom <laughs> on the top okay remember i'll get these weights later so anyway so this gig's coming up with cashmere that i'm gonna play that i'm a little nervous about just in general you get a little nervous about it because it's an ordeal man to me i know i've, I've cried about it people are like Dairy, it can't be you know it's a challenge to me 
Because really, I, I don't have the same physical stamina I used to. And um, that rock and roll at the beginning is a devil, but I'm not going to let it defeat me. All right, hang on a second here. Now, the reason why I think this actually might work is the... Um, one of the best pairs of sound edge I had, I actually sold to somebody who was looking for a pair. I took a red label, uh, no, it was a black label, sound edge bottom, 15, and I used as the top a bottom from a 15-inch pair of 2002s. Remember the rock hats? They were probably the heavy hi-hat model that they then like stamped rock hats on. So it was probably like an 1150-gram sound edge bottom, 15, 2002, with the top that was probably... 1400 so let's see if this is remote so here it is my i'll get the weights later uh, i assume this is about 11 we'll call it 11 and a quarter this guy i can tell you right now might be like a thousand <laughs> to be honest so let's get let's get that's usually the telltale sign when you go you get hang on without the oh hang on time out boop, 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 boop. this means that when Peisty does the it was my idea of using a 15 inch 2002 sound edge bottom and then one pair could be like the light light medium sound edge giant beat 2002 hybrid and the other one can be the medium heavy hybrid because what you do is you take a pre-existing pair right off the shelf here they are a pair of 15 inch giant beat hats one top top is lighter the uh the bottom is heavier put this top on a sound edge bottom and this top on a sound edge bottom and there we have them. Okay, so here we go. See, hear that like a, it's different, it's higher pitched. God, there's very much a giant beat. Like a flat, like the traits you'll hear in an 18 and a 20. There's a certain sound that's really prevalent in this. I don't know how these sound without the. No, we gotta put it in context. Uh, I'm... Um, there it is. Oh, back to the symbol demonstration. wanted to do and since I'm here well, there's a little bit of a, like a tagger or something little sticker that was on that anyway so now let me get this off and I'm now putting up uh, oh my god I'm trying, uh, there we go I'm putting on the I might as well put on the bottom as the top I guess to show Pisces what they'd actually really have Right? I mean, in the sense that I have been pushing for these. What I think? Oh, there they are. <laughs> All right, where's the... I have a bottom I need to put on. Hey, hang on. I need a bottom. I need my original, my reissue 15-inch bottom that I'm going to put on top. Hang on a minute here. I just have this simple lip. Not there. That's, see, that's the top. Let's see if I can find the bottom. I know I just had here. So I hope everybody is good. Stand by. Stand by. Well, this is putting the kibosh on the, uh, well, take my word from it, Peisty, with the original, we'll just call this, uh, we'll say this is a pretty good, um, reasonable facsimile.
of the one I'm looking for, which is an orig which is a reissue for the love of God. This is crazy time. Um, so I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna sell these hats and things to a dear friend. The original giant beast. They're nice. Well, then again, I don't know. That original top sounded great with my reissue top as the bottom. Did they not? I thought they did. So I'm gonna put back on what I really like. So this is my. This is. I know it's getting like political. This is something about a product we need to have here in Bonnenberg that all this. Um, Bonamites want sound edge reissue giant beat hats let's go for it all right again so what I'm doing here is putting my top back on what I've originally had anyway I wanted to show off those giant beats um, um, mm, all right there it is uh, it's a little open for my taste Sorry. Yeah, anyway, so I got this gig coming up. It's at the mm, um, Arcata Theater in St. Charles, Illinois. I'll get to sit right behind these drums. I will use these cymbals, which right here is a 18-inch 2002 medium, and over here is a Peisty S-Series medium thin crash, both 18. And then here's my trusted reissue 24-inch giant beat. Actually, no, I need the 20. So I'll probably use a 20 S series thin crash right here, here somewhere. But anyway, so here they are. I still at the show, I have to say, I have to make the three rings this week because I, I don't have them on this kit. I used to have them on the other kit I had. Anyway, I got to do that. Anyway, I hope you got a lot of this video. And if anybody from Peisty does check this out, remember, consider. Um, you could have two varieties of Sound Edge Giant Beat 2002 Hybrid. 2002 sound edge bottom paired with the top of the reissue giant beats as a pair and then you get the bottom on another you have a medium light pair medium heavy pair blah 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 anyway i am going to get video of the gig i'm playing at the arcada uh, more videos on the way thank you